Hey Sagittarius. Uh, welcome to your new weekly general reading. Um, this will be a timeless general reading for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Timeless because time is an illusion. No matter when you find this video, it will be right for you. So trust in the timing. Just because it went up in August, you find it in September, December, whenever, does not matter. Um, and then my only ask, because this is a general reading, do not force any of the messages. Um, many different messages come through. So there may be a card or a certain one that comes through, doesn't make sense, doesn't fit your circumstance. That one just wasn't meant for you. Leave it in the spread and take the rest. Okay. So, Sag, we are first going to pull an oracle card for you and then go into our tarot message. I definitely hope you watched the Timeless Tuesday video this week. Um, it was kind of a general all signs video for Virgo season. So, definitely check that out because everyone gets a little dose of that particular sign. So, we're in Virgo season. So, everyone has a little Virgo in them right now. So, definitely worth checking out. We got your card. Oh, great, great card. Priestess energy, I love this card. Priestess, so how are you being asked to step up and to lead? You guys must be exhausted. You literally must be exhausted. Because the second I read that, I wanted to roll my eyes. <laughs> you guys must be tired. You were like, no, I don't want, no. Why? I ain't trying to lead any other one, anyone else. I ain't trying to worry about other people's problems. I got my own stuff to do. Why I gotta lead? Why, why me? Why do I have to do this? You guys literally must feel exhausted. I wonder where that comes from. This is so interesting. I normally love this card because I always find this card super uplifting and kind of empowering. For you guys, it feels exhausting. It's like, why? why? Like, why? I would almost wonder if you guys have some solar plexus. Plexus? <laughs> if you have any solar plexus blockages, because I keep focusing on this light right in her solar plexus. Because that's where we get our self-confidence, right? That's where, that's where the sun is. You know, that's where we get our power. So for yours, it, it seems like it might be a little out of whack. Which isn't a bad thing. It's normal for that stuff to get blocked. We just have to be on it and clear it and, and help the energy to move again. All right. This is going to be interesting. Ooh, Sag. Virgo season is putting you to work. Virgo season is putting you to work. Oh, Sagittarius. I don't even know if I want to say that to you. I might not. I might. I might hold that in. We'll we'll get a little bit more out. I might hold that in a little bit. So we've got the Ten of Cups, but it's in reverse. Again, this is a super happy card that, to me, the reverse doesn't really change a whole lot. Um, but it kind of is like, instead of having the 10, you're kind of settling for a 9.5. Certainly not bad. But it could be better. You know, this is almost kind of like, like you're living a half-life, right? Like maybe it looks nice from the outside, but inside, you know, you're so not happy. Or this isn't exactly what you wanted. This wasn't the dream, right? It's not bad. Bills are paid. I got a roof over my head. I got food in my belly. There's someone standing by my side. You know, like it's, it's not bad. It's just not it, right? And we have the full card, this whole new beginning, this fresh start. For you, it feels very leap of faithy, Right? It feels leap of faithy, and something has been holding you back. Bottom of the deck is this Eight of Swords. The illusion that we're trapped, that we're stuck, right? Oh my God, did I, oh, called it, called it. What did I say about solar plexus, right? It's where the sun is. Boom, boom, mama with the sun card. Boom, right there in your face. Got it. We also have the Nine of Pentacles. This is strength. You know, if you've watched my readings before, you know this is my Beyonce card. 
right? You know this is someone who's fully confident, aware of themselves. I know what my worth is. I know what I bring to the table, right? So this, you already know. You have it because here it is in the reading. I'm not telling you to find it because you have it. It's yours, right? Boom. Great. Love it. Double emphasized by having all this attention on the solar plexus in this card. So, so why? So again, why? So if you understand this, you know what you need to do. You know you can do it. You know you want to do it. Why are we not doing it? Why is this leap of faith still here? Why are we still living the half-life? Oh, you're making me hot. <laughs> so is the air and the fire signs. You guys do this to me every time. I love you. I totally love you. But I see you. <laughs> okay. So being asked to lead, being asked to own this life that we know you want, you know you want it, but yet we're stuck over here and not doing this. Why are we not doing this? Two of Wands, bottom of the deck. Having to deal with intentions. But it's a two, so there's still the need to make a choice, right? Ten of Swords, Page of Swords in reverse. Oh, no wonder why you feel exhausted. Literally getting stabbed every day. But why? Because this energy in reverse, this is doing what's expected. This is... This is living up to the status quo. This is, this is living life according to someone else's ideals, according to society's, you know, vision of what success or what, you know, a person of your age or a person of your, your, you know, location, vocation, whatever, you know, should be doing, you know, this is, this is what success looks like in your normal, in your, in your normal reality. So this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, you know, have this type of job when you're 25 and then you're supposed to elevate to this job when you're 30. You're supposed to be married to this type of person with 2.5 kids and a dog, you know, like that is not the life for you, Sag. I'm telling you that right now. You are meant for something, I don't want to say bigger or grander, but you're meant for something different. But it looks like you're living this life to a status quo and it's not yours and literally Every day it's killing you. Every day. Every day. I'm not telling you things, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Because if this is if this is connecting to you, you already know this. You're probably like, shut up. I know. Don't remind me. Triggered. Hashtag no. But like looking at all of this, you literally are able to do what it is you want to do, right? I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying you're going to snap your fingers and you'll be, you know, you're going to go from this to this, right? I'm not saying it's not going to take work. It will take work. But literally, if there's a change, if there's a difference you want to make, you have everything you need right now to make it. You literally do. You have everything you need right now in this moment to make it happen, right? Now, could you prepare for it a little longer, make it a little smoother? Yes. But that also means you're stuck with this a little longer. Is it worth it? I don't necessarily think so. I think there is a call right now to follow your passions and follow your guts and follow that motivating factor that lives inside of you. No, nope, you're not coming out? Okay. King of Swords, our strategist, our planner. Use this Virgo energy to set this plan in motion because I guarantee you, at least for the Sages I know, you've already thought the plan out. You've already thought about it. I mean, maybe there could be some fine tuning with the King of Swords coming out, but like, do it, do it. You have to enact it. This is the second night. Last time you had the Knight of Wands, now you have the Knight of Cups. So two knights that are urging you to move. Take action, do something about it. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. We're not taking half the deck. We're gonna put these back. Knight of Cups came out again. I saw him in there. No, stop giving us 800 cards. Okay. <laughs> Making it 
excited, a little too excited. All right, told you, fire signs. Burning so bright over there. Okay, I did see Ace of Pentacles came out in that first big, big flop. Five of Wands in reverse. So again, dissolving this inner conflict, bringing about abundance, bringing in this new gift, this new start, this new opportunity. But again, we have to release this, right? This is that struggle about the life I have to live versus the life I want to live versus the choices I want to make versus the choices I should make. And notice I said should and not have to, right? You don't have to make the choices you're making now. Should you? Maybe. I don't know your circumstances. Do you have to? No. Are there other choices that could still keep your needs satisfied but allow you to live a life that you're more content with? Yes. Yes. That is the point of this. Yes. And this Five of Wands is telling you once you sort that out, right, once you sort out that internal struggle, that's when you get to live. That's where you get that new life. That's where you get that new abundance. Oh, I knew she was coming. I knew she was coming. Boom. High Priestess. High Priestess energy. I love it. Trusting your gut, using your inner wisdom, using your inner knowledge, right? Listening to your intuition, letting that guide you, right? Because when the external guides you, that's when you end up on this road, right? Now, I'm not saying external learning is good or bad. It's great. We don't know everything, right? But trusting your gut, like listening to what you need. It's, it's, like, it's like body intuition. Like when your body's hungry, it tells you it's hungry. When your body is low on certain, you know, certain minerals or certain vitamins, you crave certain things. That's your body saying, I'm short in this. I need you to eat this thing. So I'm going to tell you to go eat a banana because I'm low in potassium. Like it's like, that's why we get those certain cravings. We're low in something. Our body knows we get that something from these foods. Therefore, a message goes up to your little brain that tells you, I need to go eat Brussels sprouts. I need you to go eat a piece of cake because we need a big dose of sugar right now for that energy hit, whatever it is. Like there's a reason why we crave those certain foods and it's up to us to dissolve or not dissolve discern meaning from that same thing what's happening to you with these priestess cards coming out <sighs> Whew. i need to calm myself down that was a lot sorry 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 okay so let's go through this so we have the moon card so again secrets what's hidden trying to reveal the hidden meaning to me this is solving those mysteries I'll put that up with the Priestess card. We have Seven of Pentacles, right? So independent energy, but victory, success. But it's independence that is earned. I know that I can do this. I know this is the direction. Regardless of what you think, regardless of what I should be doing, I know this is my path. Therefore, I'm going to go down it. This is my life, my call. If you don't like it, get off the train. Literally get off the train. Then you have the Five of Pentacles fall out right on top. Of this ten of cups so again this life that you're living you feel like you're doing it alone you, you feel like there's no help there's no support whether this is you know romantically if this is work if this is family you feel like you have to do it on your own there's no support I would argue I mean you're not wrong but you also don't need it would it be nice if it was there yes does it come eventually hell yeah with this ace of Pentacles but again your cup is being poured out Ace of Cups in, in reverse, right? You're in a situation that is literally just bleeding your cup out. Look, all 10 of these are upside down. Your Ace of Cups, you know, like pure love and this happy ever after, both being drained. Both being drained by whatever this situation is, whatever it is. <sighs> like, Sages, I don't know what else to tell you. Like, you are not in the place that you need to be. On a grand scheme, like you are not getting the support and the love and the the care you were meant to, right? Justice, bottom of the deck. So it could be dealing with the Libra, but this is this is that whole equilibrium. Where do we find balance, right? Where's that security coming from? 
not here, because this is probably a big question playing on playing on, on in your mind, right? That's why this king is here, king of swords. <sighs> Sages. I wonder, okay, we're just gonna take, I'm not gonna pull any more cards, but we're gonna take this back to the beginning. Oh, no wonder why I grabbed my lapidolite before you started, I need it. <laughs> you may need it too. If you have lapidolite, go grab it. Now, do it, you need it. <laughs> it might calm you down a little bit. Okay, Sag, so we're gonna take it back to the priestess. So I do wonder, that's why it feels so exhausting, because you're maybe working or living in a situation that again, feels like this Ten of Swords. Not good, not fulfilling, not rewarding. Doesn't energize you to be in it. You feel like there's no support. There's no one there for you. I just can't answer why you're still there. It could be many things. Like, let's say if it's work, obviously we need a job. Obviously, like it's a thing. So, I get it. There, there could be reasons. But they'll be different. They'll be individual for all of you. Yeah, you're literally exhausting me. I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> but literally what is happening in this reading is it's almost like I can I feel like I'm listening to this inner dialogue of like, oh, I'm already doing so much. I'm already doing more than I want to, or more than I should, or more than I want need to, desire to, whatever. Or everything I'm doing is going in this direction and I want to go in this direction eventually. I just don't know how to like rebalance the flow so I can take some out of this way and move it this way easy find a way to cut this one off so you can put all your energy this way like but i think that's why this priestess feels exhausted because on one hand it's like i have to do these things because i have to you don't by the way but you feel like i have to do these things but your 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 priestess self your your high priestess inside of you is like you know you're not supposed to be doing this you know you're not supposed to be doing this. You know you need to go this way. You know this road's going to kill you, right? You know this road's going to do this. You know it. And it's like she's she's asking you, I need you to start working in this direction. For both of us. I need you to go this way. And it's it's like your 3D self is like, oh, I still got to work? I still got to do more stuff? I still got to figure this out? Yes, because it's your life, Sag. Yes. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yeah, you do. But again even though it looks a little leap of faithy. Yes, even though it looks like we're going back to square one. Yes, even though it's, it's, ugh, it's literally like starting all over again. How much better would it feel to be every day putting energy into this versus putting it into this? Like on, on like on the real Sag on the real. So I get it's exhausting. I get you're tired, but honestly, you're tired because you've been pouring your cup into a well that will never return the favor. Never return the favor. I love you, but it's it's time for something different. It's time it's time you got to move in your own direction. Oh, I feel like I got real heavy. And I never like to f and it finish the readings on these like real crazy heavy notes. But a big indicator that you got to find, you got to find your way out. You got to find your way out, Sag. Got to. Oh, my loves. Okay. I'm going to wrap your reading there. Gave you a lot to think about. But I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Sending you the best. Oh, yes. I just want to give you a hug. Just, just, oh. <sighs> Okay, a little virtual, virtual air hug, all right? <laughs> but I love you guys. Um, I thank you and appreciate everything you do for me and my channel and all the support you share for me. If you like this video, I ask if you could please leave a comment down below, um, hit the thumbs up button, make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell on so you'll be notified when your next video pops up. Um, until then, I'm wishing you the best. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you next week in your next video. Bye, Sag.